Hello, today I'm going to talk about Atrius Total Effect Imaging. Atrius Total Effect ASD mean defect in cardiac arterial septum may be isolated or associated with other congenital heart disease. Left to right shunt. I mean blood from left hand bypass systemic circulation to into the right hand. Most ASD secular are related to long-term left to right shunting. Okay. Type of ASD left to right shunt like ostium secundum presented up to 70 and 90 percent ostium primum sinus venosus and root bit coronary sinus defect And pattern for month over is normal variant and usually transients with normal atrial pressure. Increased stroke risk and clear migraine association. So, pattern for a oval is uh, not more variant than it increases stroke risk and cause unclear migraine also. More common sign and symptom. Most children with ASD have no symptom. Detected due to murmur or other medical workup. Rarely present in childhood with failure to try respiratory infection, tachypnea. I mean, even though have most cases, there's no any sign of symptom. In children, but yeah, it can be present with uh, failure to try respiratory infection and tachypnea, like other defects also. Subtle symptoms are more likely in second case. Short light defect frequently do not present until adulthood, like fatigue, exercise, intolerance. Sink of shortness of breath and palpitation. ASD leading to severe coronary hypertension in median age of detection is 51 years. Osteum secundum sinus venosus, majority of patients are asymptomatic. ABSD or Osteum primum defect more likely to have early symptom. Other signs and symptoms abnormal heart sound, crescendo, less crescendo, systolic ejection murmur of second left intercostal space, increase volume through pulmonary pulmonary valve. While it speed second heart sound delay closure of pulmonary valve.
democratic. A. Congenital effect, most ASD are asymptomatic in infant with symptom developing in adulthood. ABSD detected prenatally or in first week of life. Sex, most of the condom they fight is more female than male, ratio two, two to one. Epidemiology said most common congenital heart effect. ASD account for 10% of congenital heart disease in children, yet 30% of congenital heart disease in adults. Prevalent around 56 to 100 over 100,000 live birth. True incident may be higher as many close spontaneously, especially also in second home. Related to genetic, Down syndrome or trisomy 21. ASC present up to 65 percent. Okay. As present as ABSD, up to 45 and 42 are due to assume secondum ASD. All around syndrome. could have ASD plus upper extremity anomaly. Various other symptoms, other syndrome, including Nunan, Elis, Van, Gravel, Jaco, Levin. Most ASD as sporadic. Mutation have been found in several genes, gene associated with Kajak Subtation. Associated anomaly, sinus venosus, superior PAPBR of right upper lobe pulmonary vein to SVC. Inferior PAPBR of right low, low pulmonary vein to IVC or right atrium. Osteom secundum. Mitraval degeneration with recuperation in 25%. Anaerobic coronary sinus persistent left side SVC. Pathophysiology, volume overload, primary issue. ASD, low pressure, left to right shunt. VSD, AVSD, high pressure, left to right shunt. All eventually lead to pulmonary hypertension if untreated. I mean, any form of ASD, can lead to hypertension if no any treatment. The top different side of, uh, different cell diagnosis of ASD is VSD, pulmonary hypertension, Simitar syndrome. West clue in diagnosis is defect in anterior septum seen on any image morality. Secular of isolated ASD are uncommon in children. The sign could be variable, 
morphology. Many ASD are irregular or complex, not circular. Location. Patent permanent oval, persistent of normal fetal interarterial communication that allow flow from inferior vena cava to largely bypass right atrium and freely enter left atrium in utero. After birth, left atrium. Pressure more than right atrium pressure leading to resulting in sin, sin tissue flap on left atrium side is forced again limbus achieving physiological close during first pubic limbus is a sick muscular rid that border on foramen ova. Patent foramen ova with right to left shank, close in congenital region with elevated right atrium pressure, for example, trichospid atresia, Epstein anomaly, hypoplastic right ventricle, Pattern for a man or while with left to right shunt is important in lesions such as hypoplastic left heart, mitral atresia. Most common, 25 to 30 percent, percent of other, but consider normal variant, not generally considered with other ASD, as flap only a low flow from right to left sun, not left to right sun. Only occur with elevation in right hand pressure, typically transient phenomenon. Main concern in this population is stroke, questionable associated with migraine headache. Osteum secundum ASD, up to 70 to 90% of left to right shunt ASD, defect of fossa ovalis due to defect of septum primum. Osteum primum ASD is an only 2 to 3% simplest form of atrioventricular septal endogadial cushion. Cousin, defect AS, AVSD. This ASD lie between anterior inferior portion of septum and atroventricular valve. Atroventricular valve and conduction axis are abnormal, isolated versus cleft in anterior left flat or mitral flat. Sinus venosus ASD. is around 4 to 11 percent. Posterior to fossa ovalis, superior thigh, communication of cardiac superior vena cava, and at least one of high pulmonary vein, more common than inferior thigh defect. Unroot fit coronary sinus defect between left atrium and coronary sinus root. So what we can find in chest radiograph. For osteum secundum ASD, small to moderate effect could be present not much x-ray. Light effect can so mild cardiomegaly 
not more to increase main pulmonary artery size and some vascularity. For ostium premium AST or AVSD, young children with cardiomegaly and increased pulmonary vascularity, volume overload of right head, arrive in the core, and pulmonary artery. Sinus venous defect, superior time, horizontal portion of right upper lobe, pulmonary vein as it enter SPC. Adult with pulmonary hypertension, classic and light, convex mean pulmonary artery with peripheral decrease in size of vessel. Arrive with the call enlargement. Upturn cardiac effect on frontal view. Diminish retrosternal clear space on lateral view. This is a chest radiograph of four years old child demonstrate cardiomegaly, increased pulmonary vascularity, and mild pulmonary edema. The patient has a large and treated atrial septal defect. This is another case of three months old child with enlarged arrived atrium and known osteum primum AST. So this is another case of chest radiograph so mild cardiomegaly with a prominent pulmonary artery in this asymptomatic six years old child with secundum arterial subtal effect. So we this case we can see only mild cardiomegaly and no symptom and we can find only mild prominent pulmonary artery. So this image usually we meet with secundum arterial septal defect. Another case of 26 years old woman with SN major physiology secondary to untreated VST. We can see mark and large of the main right and left pulmonary artery seen. This is a case of arterial septal defect. So we can see enlarged bilateral pulmonary artery. For the same patient, we can see in the lateral view, so highlight enlargement due to enlarged pulmonary artery. This patient with ASD may develop pulmonary artery hypertension, which manifests as enlarged of the pulmonary trunk and pulmonary artery, proning of periprom pulmonary artery branch and enlarge of the right atrium and right in the car. Same case. Again. 
This AP Charger graph demonstrating increase size and number of pulmonary vessel and light of the left and right pulmonary artery and enlarge of the pulmonary trunk. This finding are consistent with shunt vascularity and pulmonary artery hypertension in the patient with an SASD. Another AP chest radiograph of the patient with AIC. So shunt vascularity especially within the upper lung zone. So what we can find in the CT? In CT, the effect in atrial septum like large shunt is suggested with an expected equalization of contrast between Atria during cardiac CT with saline chest. Enlargement of right atrium, right ventricle, and pulmonary artery. Useful to look for associated congenital heart lesion. The partial anomaly pulmonary venous return, PAPVR is associated with sinus venous ASD. Volumetric functional information can be obtained with retrospective cutting. cutting. So this is axial cardiac CTA in an infant with other congenital anomaly. So a defect in mid portion of the atrium septum Consistent with second type ASD, not the hypertrophy of the right ventricle is indicated. This is color coded volume render for chamber cardiac CTA. So a defect in the mid portion of atrial septum consistent with a section of the ASD, not the interventricular septum, separate the right ventricle and left ventricle clearly. This is axial capture CTA in an infant with hydroventricular canal defect. So a prominent septum primum defect of the atria septum. Note the common atria hydroventricular valve and the posterior ventricular septum to subtle defect. This is oblique axial cardiac CTA in a child, so a sinus and venous ASD with defect in sub. Superior, the superior lateral aspect of atrial septum. This is color coded volume render for chamber cardiac CTA. So the sinus venous type defect in the superior lateral aspect of the atrial septum where the blood volume in the right atrium, left atrium, right ventricle, and left ventricle are also soon. Axial coron coronary CTA, so a patent hormone oval, 
with a type of oblique defection flap in the atria septum is seen in 25 of the population. Note the size of right atrium is not more and as lateration does not occur. Sagittal MIP cardiac CTA in an infant so confluent of pulmonary vein communicating with the CS consistent with the variant of an root fit coronary sinus type of ASD. Axial contrast enhancity of a patient demonstrate a sinus venous ASD. It communication between the right and left atria. Sinus venous is the least common type of ASD after osteum secundum and osteum primum type. Axial cardiac. Gated CTA demonstrate a small effect in the interatrial septum consistent with an ASD. Cardiac CTA not only in more direct visualize of an ASD but may also provide information regarding the direction and extent of Intra-conjection. Axial conjugated CTA, so an osteum secundum defect, which is most common type of ASD. Four chamber conjugated CT demonstrate a small defect in intraatrial septum in e immediately posterior to the atrial ventricular valve compatible with an osteum primum ASD. In MRI, sign MRI can direct visualization and Side of ASD assessment of sound volume and direction, enlarged right atrium and right ventricle, enlarged pulmonary artery associated anomaly, partial anomalous pulmonary venous return, fast contrast amount, sound volume of fraction calculation through QPQS, direct. Quantification of shun in on face view, typically second flow for the for the flow, allow qualification from single image volume. Compare angiography associated vascular anomaly. So this is for chamber view from an SSFP cardiac um, also a secundum type defect of the atrial septum. Note the left to right shunfle uh, across the ASD with the passing artifact in the right atrium. Chamber view from an SSFP bring cardiac and also a sinus venous ASD with the defect in the superior lateral aspect of atrial septum. This defect is nearly always associated with upper low
พระชอบอนุมลสปมรีบานาสิกันธรรมโอแองเกิลกรามอิสดิเพกอนุมลสบานาสิกัน of the right of the p u l m o n a r y vein in a patient with sinus venous ASD, this creates a left to right shunt. Public CD as as a P or more, so a defect in the interarterial septum. Um, or was used for sizing of this defect for possible uh, plaza divide. Actual sign of all of a patient with an ASD demonstrate the sinus venous defect. Arterial septal defect account for approximately 10% of congenital cardiac anomaly, but It's the most common c o n i t a l cardiac anomaly diagnosis in the lab. Axial oblique PCMR magnitude image about the semi-lunar valve are uh, used to quantify the flow in the main pulmonary artery and ascending aorta. And the ratio p u l m o n a r y to systemic is more than 1.5 is considered significant shine. Echography. a n g i o g r a p h i c finding. c a r d i a c a t a r i z a t i o n The f o n g when echocardiography is inconclusive or to evaluate associated anomaly, extension of catheter across the p e c t l e f t a n d e c u l a r a n g i o g r a p h y evaluation of mitral valve p r o l a p s and extent of mitral valve regurgitation, ghost snake. Deformity in o s t e r o m primum b e p a i t So this is the contrast in c h e c k So this case, so contrast injected into the left atria flow into the right atria through a right secundum, as seen from the left. Atrium angiogram. Another left atrial angiogram with a catheter pass through the sinus venous. So contrast flowing from the left atrium into the right atrium. Treatment repair indicated. Shan ratio, one point five to one, and e f f e c t more than ten millimeter. Patient with small shan monitor for right heart dysfunction. Repair is contraindication with pulmonary hypertension may already develop. Osteum secundum. 
spontaneous cancer occur in many children. It persistent close prematurely with catheter face occlusion divide, large effect, many patch. or direct suture close. Osteo premium defect are not amendable to back goodness divide closer due to relation ship to heavy valve surgery by three to five years of age. Adrial ventricular canal surgical Repair done in first year of life, symptom, medication, sinus, venous defect. More complex surgical repair is required due to coronary vinyl anatomy. 